What's the first thing you got to do when you start shaving? Wet your face and soften the hair. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, so my face is softened now. I'm going to apply the um, shaving cream and lather it up. Boy, I haven't done this in front of a camera in a while. That's why I keep, I keep emphasizing that it's really important for your shaving experience to be enjoyable. If it isn't, yeah, it's going to be a terrible thing for you. A terrible chore for you to get in the bathroom and shave. And so you're going to look for the shortcuts. And you're going to buy an electric razor thinking it's going to be take a shorter time. Probably will take a shorter time, but you'll get some really nasty shaves with that, for those things. But what they do is they pull on the hair and they don't cut it cleanly. They actually break it. They break it off. And, uh, this can lead to ingrown hairs and more acne than you want. If you're prone to acne and small little infections at the root of the hair, it's not a pleasant experience. At least it wasn't for me. You know, I was... Not many people know this, but I was in the army for a while. You know the army. You gotta shave. There's no getting around it. You've got to shave. Um, thank goodness I was an officer because if I had been enlisted, the hell I'd have gone through, that would have been a nightmare. Um, they wanted me, they expected me to shave daily. I couldn't. My face literally bled from every pore and I tried to shave daily. I used an electric razor. I use the Gillette razors, the plasticky things like the Mach 3 and the whatever else they put out. It didn't work. It was only when I switched to a double-edged razor that I was able to shave more often without my face looking like a, a war zone. Yeah, so, okay, I think this is fairly good lather by now. Let me get a blade and uh, stick it in the razor. Here we go. Uh, this is pretty good, I think. Okay. So, oh, another question was what blades am I using? There you go. I know, I keep criticizing Gillette, but I'm using a Gillette razor and Gillette blades. That's what I found at the store. And I don't... They, they work me fine, so don't worry about it. Don't obsessed about these things too much. Now, the blades weren't working fine for me. Yeah, I look for other blades, but they, they do okay. They do okay by me, so I mess around. I'm going to fill up the sink with water, and then I'm just going to shave from the sink. Some people were commenting in the other video about not uh, rinsing the, the razor in the sink because you'll get staph infections. Nonsense. This is my sink. Those are my bacteria in it. And so my body is used to my bacteria and I've never gotten infections from this sort of thing. Uh, if it's a common sink, like at a dorm or a who knows where at a hotel, then I certainly wouldn't shave from the sink. But this being my sink and I'm the only one using it, no problems. Plus it's sort of like a Zen thing. I don't like hearing that water, it's too noisy. And so, anything I can do to make it quieter while I'm shaving is a good thing. All right.
Here I am pulling on the skin again. Oh no, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> yes, I am. Suck it up. Notice I'm shading against the direction of the hair growth down here. But in the areas where I know that's going to be problematic, I'm actually not that adventurous uh, shave with the hair growth. Because I'm really not interested in getting more cuts. And another thing to remember, or to keep in mind, is um, when the lather gets so dry that... <laughs> can you see the little lather flakes going up in the air? Well, if you can't see them, just take my word for them. The lather is starting to flake up. That means it's dried up. So it's time to reapply a layer of lather. Because I don't see the point of trying to shave on a, on a single lather. When the ladder gets dry, you're, the, the razor isn't lubricated anymore, and so you're just going to irritate your face and cut yourself. So just reapply the ladder. It doesn't take that long to do it. It's not costing you more. It may be a little extra time, but why would you risk getting a crappy shave? Just use save a few seconds. I don't get that. Straight hairs from the brush. Okay. Good. All right. A lot of people think it's tricky to shave this area here at the nose. It really isn't. Once you get the hang of it, you just kind of... It's all about angling the razor like this. See? That's the key. So, just... Don't press. Just rotate it. And there we go. Not hard at all.
shaving over the Adam's apple is another tricky thing. And uh, one thing to do is to um, see these are uh, flakes from the shaving cream, so I gotta reapply it here in just a little while. Um, is to swallow and keep it up here. So watch my neck. It's a pretty awkward feeling until you get used to it. But it does help because otherwise it's hard to shave around it and you might nick yourself. So let me reapply a bit of lotion here. And uh, there, I reapply a bit over here because I may do a second pass here. And did I finish this up? Let me just check. The way to check is just to run the razor over an area. See, and if you hear some hair being cut, then that means you haven't really finished that area, have you? There we go. Okie doke. That seems to be done. This does not seem to be done. That's pretty good, and I don't think I've cut myself, which is which is nice, you know. Now somebody can say, "Well, you haven't cut yourself. It's not a real shape." <laughs> Who knows? I can't please everybody. So let me rinse. So, um, the last thing you should do before you finish shading is, of course, uh, rinse yourself, but also rinse the, uh, the razor and the brush. And so I have one of these little stands that I bought. I think it came from Vanderhagen. I, I bought their deluxe shading kit. And it came with a brush that I'm not using, and uh, with a cup that I'm not using, and with a soap that I use from time to time, and with this. This is the most useful thing in it. So I use this to, to dry my razor and my brush after I'm done. I just let them air rinse, or air dry, I'm sorry. And they work great. Uh, so what else is there to cover? Oh yes, aftershave. Aftershave. I got some questions about aftershave as well. Let me just uh, dry my face a bit. Uh, aftershave, right? Um, let's use this aftershave. There's no brand on it, no name, because it was made uh, for me as a sample for me to uh, test and use. It's mango and peppermint. Mm. So good. So I'm going to apply this to my face. Oh, in case you're wondering where to get this, you can't really get it at the moment, but if you write to the folks at endeasoap.ro, so it's endea, E-N-D-E-A, soap, S-O-A-P, of course, dot R-O. Uh, they're the guys who made this for me. 
and ask him for the mango and peppermint shaving uh, aftershave and uh, see if they'll make it for you as well. They wanted to make me a sample and give my thoughts on it. Um, and yeah, my thoughts are that it's great. <laughs> so keep on making it, guys. But I already told them that, so they know. Oh, I bet you somebody's gonna tell me now, why are you applying the aftershave on your eyes and on your forehead? You're gonna get hair growing there. And uh, sorry to break it to you, fella, but aftershave does not grow hair. Um, and actually I'm applying this because it's a really good skin lotion as well. It's not just for an aftershave. It, this can be used as, a, as, a, as an all-purpose uh, face cream. So it works beautifully. I love it, and uh, so does my skin. So let's see, is there uh, something else to cover? Did I forget to mention something? If I forgot, I guess I can always make another video in three years. Because <laughs> it's, I think it's almost been three years since I made that video in 2010. I made it, when, what was it, in March of 2010, and now it's uh, January of 2013, so yeah, almost three years. A lot of time has passed since, and a lot of things have happened since, yeah. But one thing I'm glad for is that uh, it's been helpful to a lot of people. So I got a lot of good comments on there from people thanking me, telling me how, how happy they were that they found a video that helped them shave and, and set a good example for them. And I'm really, really pleased uh, with, with that. I'm, I'm so happy, you know, that, that it's made people happy and that it's been of use to folks. I mean, that's why I made it. I didn't make it just so I could shave in front of a mirror all by myself. Uh, I made it so it could help, help you. And if it's helped you, then I'm really, really glad. Um, I also have to thank you about the, the James Bond comments. I, I enjoyed those um, and all the other complimentary stuff. Um, and yes, I would love to play the role of James Bond, so if the producers of the movie uh, series are watching, call me, call me, we'll talk business, yeah, so, um, <laughs> but thank you, thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for my other videos, uh, I've also started a series called The Elegant Gentleman, uh, here on my channel, uh, which is a series where actually this video will plug right in into it. Um, it's a series about manners and clothing and uh, the various finer things of life or in life. And it's a man's guide to being a gentleman. So um, I'll be making videos for that. I'm actually filming another video today specifically for that series. It's about shoe care. Um, I'd love to have you tune in and subscribe to that series and uh, I hope that those videos will, will also be helpful to you. Okay, thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, yeah, I always feel like Santa Claus, I'm sure. <laughs>